So welcome to our agriculture nutrition uh, lesson one. And in this lesson, I want us to tackle uh, the first uh, strand or the first topic. Uh, it is a very interesting and very sweet topic uh, talking about uh, conserving agricultural environment. Uh, the first substrand is about uh, soil conservation measures. Soil conservation measures. And uh, before we even go through what is uh, on our screen, uh, to conserve soil is uh, to ensure that uh, it is not lost. It, to ensure that it is not lost. And uh, now somebody may ask you a question. How is the soil lost? We already have done that in previous classes uh, where we know that uh, soil is lost through soil erosion. Soil is lost through soil erosion, and uh, to um, uh, ensure that we stop soil erosion, so that we don't lose uh, soil, that's what we call now uh, uh, soil erosion. I mean soil conservation. So from our screen, what is soil conservation? Soil conservation, and uh, you can see that uh, clearly that. Uh, Soil conservation measures refers to a combination of practices done or that are taken to prevent the loss of soil through soil erosion. So, when we come to uh, preventing soil erosion, we may uh, carry out different practices together. That's why we are being informed here that uh, it is a combination of practices of course we are going to look at these practices uh, uh, in the next uh, part so uh, to be clear uh, it is uh, combining various practices with the aim of preventing or avoiding loss of soil through erosion now wh why do we do this what is the importance? What are the reasons for conserving soil? What are the reasons for conserving soil? Now, uh, on your screen, uh, you must have seen around five or four reasons why. The first reason why we conserve soil is to keep topsoil in its place. Remember, topsoil is the so first layer in the soil profile. So it always contains fertility, uh, a lot of soil living organisms. It is well aerated when you compare to other layers of the soil. And that means in terms of agriculture, it is the best for farming. So therefore, when it is lost through soil erosion, that means it is a big loss. So it is important to conserve soil because it helps to keep the topsoil in its place. Another thing that, uh, that is a reason why we should conserve soil is to maintain fertility. Remember, soil erosion leads to loss of fertility because it is carrying away the fertile topsoil and the fertility in it. So what do we do? We have to conserve uh, soil so that we, the fertility can be maintained, so that fertility can be maintained. Another the reason is to maintain soil productivity. Soil productivity is the output we get from the soil. Product, pro, 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 products we obtain from soil uh, in their measure, that's what you call productivity. Soil should always be productive. There is no way you can have soil which is not productive. So for us to ensure that soil is always productive, we have to conserve it. Then the last one, the last one is to help increase agricultural uh, production, which promotes food security. Yes, when we maintain, we conserve soil, agricultural production increases because we have not lost topsoil, we have not lost fertility, and uh, this promotes food security. Food security is whereby uh, all the individuals in an area or in a nation are able to get access to nutritious food all the time all the time thank you